This, uh, this intro uh, today we're going to look at where I'm at with the Evo uh, undersides done I haven't done this on the video all the back hubs are on the back shafts are in the back subframes all on uh, what else we got on all the ABS wires are all in, and brake cables and clips are on. I've tidied under the back seat and put all the covers on, etc. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump to this clip of the brakes. I have a funny story in here to tell you as well later on. Uh, we'll get to that. But yeah, I'm gonna jump to the back brakes now and uh, have a look at these. So I'll tell you what, guys, I've put obviously new shoes on here. Uh, Got everything back on, but what an absolute pig! If you can see where them clips are, this side I thought was the hard side, but you can actually just easily get to the back of a pin here and hold it. But this side, let me show you. I've had this is trying to spring out, I've got that wedged in with a screwdriver just to try and hold tension back. I've got another screwdriver. On the back, let's say I look down at the bottom, look, just see it's silver. Down there, trying to hold that bloody pin straight to then try and get grip pliers on it. And my word, shocking. I expected him to be a piece of piss. I think I've made a, an error here because what I think I should have done really is built these onto the back plate before I put the hubs on but these hubs don't split so few is thinking well, why don't you just take dry flange off it doesn't it's part of a bearing so you'd have to unbolt it from the back of a hub but then you've also got the issue of getting your handbrake cable in down the back of there yeah not nice not nice at all but uh, it is doable, just fiddly. Another thing on these e-bills, guys. These clip, the handbrake lever doesn't come with the shoes. So that clip you have to like sprag open, try and get it off, straighten it in the vise, put the new arm back on, and then like try and squash it back. You'd think they'd just send you a new clip with the shoes. And these shoes are Mintex, but they don't. Don't know what's happening here guys. I've ordered Padgett discs. I've just took them out of a Padgett box. They were supposed to be just normal ordinary discs and they're drilled and grooved. Now I've no issue, but you know, I got drilled and grooved on fronts. But I have now on the back. So a little story guys <clears throat> about my drilled and grooved discs. So I've just rang eBay seller up said I've you've sent me a drilled and grooved. I said right so no issue I'll keep them, but I want to know if I'm going to order the fronts I want to make sure they're drilled and grooved to match. Yeah, 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 there will be yeah, yeah Oh, well, we shouldn't have sent you drilled and grooved. They're 25 quid extra. I went all right. Oh, he said well This is this is where it gets funny. He says let me speak to manager. So manager comes on he said However, we shouldn't have sent you drilled and grooved. We should have sent you normal ones. Uh, but you can keep the upgrade free of charge. So I was like, oh, 
brilliant, nice guys. So then he said, I, he said, did you, you said you're after the front? I went, yeah, 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 he said. Yeah, well, you know, you know the fronts. Oh, the, there's very many, take your edge, give me reg. Loads of variations on the front. I went, oh, I said, I'm looking on your eBay store and uh, I found them here, the drilled and grilled fronts with the Brembo pads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you need to make sure. Make sure, because I said, well, what diameter? He said, uh, 318. So, <laughs> off I trot. Get to tape measure out toolbox while he's on phone. I measured them. I said, he says, because they're a bit expensive. They're all variance prices. And this is what he's doing. He's trying to get the money they've ballsed up and give me these. He's trying to add it on to the next one. So, he wants me to buy them out of eBay direct through him. So it works out, he says, oh yeah, the 318, and, and 318's a very rare size on an Evo. And I'm like, oh, I think he's talking a bit of bully, so I measured him. I went, oh, I said, mine, uh, mine measure up at 318, he went. Oh, he said, the, the, I think listing's wrong. Uh, 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 my man will get you a price, though, anyway. On old, matey boy comes on, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're 154 quid on eBay, 25 quid shorted me, or 24, whatever it is. So 154 plus 24, which works 178, 179 quid. So he said, yeah, yeah, the discs delivered uh, 179 pound. Oh, so how ironic, how ironic. So the balls up on the discs. And now they're trying to overcharge me for the fronts to offset the money they've just lost on the discs after they've just told me to keep them as a free upgrade. How does that work? Yeah, so I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I might do I make it awkward and send them back and let them send me the right ones or piss them out or do I just buy the front discs. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy the front discs, back off there, but the padgy at 155 on a different account, so they don't know it's me. Happy days. So anyway, let us know what you think, and if you think that's right, what they're trying to do to me. They've bulged up, then they're trying to offset the discs, uh, that 25 quid they've lost, as additional on the front discs and pads. Bad, bad men. So yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah, this filler neck install, so this is a brand new Mitsubishi one. I have painted it again, give it a bit more protection. And brand new gasket. So that's part number for the gasket. It did look, and they're the original screws, but chewed to death. Gonna order some more. Didn't realise they were chewed up, otherwise would have ordered some. So I'm just gonna replace some of these. These are left over. I have replaced a lot of these M6s within the car, so these are left over. So they're, they're nice, they're in nice condition. I'm just gonna fit these for the time being and order some proper ones. This bastard steering lock on. I think it is. What a Longer. There it is, sports fans. There it is. No moment of truth. I'll tell you what, needs a good old valet in here. Need some air around it, don't I? Can't find a hole. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful machine. Well, I'll well, tell you what boys, <laughs> that feels absolutely Awesome. Obviously there's skirts and arches missing and we've got to do front end and belt but 
just to get it out out on its wheels in the daylight yeah awesome I'm gonna get a, a pressure wash off and see if we can get most of this shite off It's fucking everywhere. I've got snow filling my face a lot. So, guys, there it is. The good old wash outside. Uh, <clears throat> come up alright. So, just got most of the shite and crap off so it can sit there for. I've got a week it can sit there. So, it. Uh, quick walk round. Obviously got skirts. Skirts will go on last. I haven't managed to put the front plate on yet. That's coming off. I've got the number for the front bumper to remove, so that's no biggie whatsoever. So it's been nice to actually get it out and get the uh, garage empty. So I know it probably don't look like it to you, but uh, you know, benches are pretty clear. I've had a good old tidy up, tools away, and. Uh, a good, good old, uh, well, previous way I filled the bin, so got this little thing in, needs fixing. So we'll see. Shot the legs in. Yeah, get this fixed. So, yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks for coming back, and uh, hopefully, we're going to start on the front end with a timing belt. For the next video but yeah if you can't tell this smile extremely happy today extremely got to bleed ayt as well uh, and then i think we're gonna go from once we've done all this and go from end on we're gonna go map it so we'll let you know how that works out as well so cheers guys see you next time <laughs>